It is Tuesday morning here at the dollhouse. We're all packed up, we're getting ready to go. We've got to get out of the dollhouse uh, trail, which as you saw, it was pretty tricky getting in here, a little harder than we had anticipated, but we didn't have too many problems. But now we've got to get out and our next stop is going to be the Maze Overlook. So we've got to get back to Flint Trail, go up a few miles and hit the next trail for tonight's campsite. So we're all packed up, we're ready to go. Let's get back on the trail and head to the Maze Overlook. We are all wishing we had more time here because this was the most unique campsite we've ever seen. Absolutely gorgeous, surrounded by these beautiful rocks and encapsulated. We were safe from the wind and elements, which was absolutely awesome. Now, as we leave the dollhouse area, we're gonna pass the trailhead to the Colorado River, Green River Confluence Overlook. Now, if you wanna do that, you've gotta be here for the whole day because you need to start it in the morning. It's four and a half miles in and four and a half miles out. So be prepared for a long day of hiking if you wanna do that. And Katarina wants to do it the next time we visit this area. But before we get back on the trail and head out, there's one more stop that we want to make. And we want to go check out Dollhouse 3. It's supposed to be a little more challenging to get to that campsite, but we want to see what the views are like just in case we want to do it the next time we're in town. Now, there was a nice little climb trying to get up here and I decided not to even try driving the trailer up to the official campsite because I didn't know if I'd be able to turn around or not. But the view from here is amazing. 360 degrees as far as the eye can see. Now it's not as enclosed and as protected as Dollhouse 2, but you got to admit this view is out of this world. Well, now we are officially back on the dollhouse trail, heading back to Flint Trail. And if you have not watched the original dollhouse trail video, you might want to, because we have to go back through the obstacles that got us here in the first place. And we ended up getting our trailer stuck on the very last obstacle, which for us now is gonna be the first one. So hopefully we can make it out of here. Now to be fair, I'm one of the last people to ever stack rocks because we basically never really need to, but they were there, so I'm gonna use them to our advantage. Well, we finished the latter half of the trail and we're back into this middle section, which is the hardest part of the trail. 
Well, there was the one obstacle at the beginning. We're going into the difficult portion. So we've got some challenges up ahead. It's probably gonna slow us down, but hopefully, since we've already done it once, we won't have too many problems getting out of here. We've been slowly working our way through the obstacles as we work our way out of the dollhouse, but the worst obstacles are still in front of us. So we've got a ways to go, a few more challenges to meet before we're back on some softer ground. Uh, this turn here gave us the most difficulty getting in. I had to do a bunch of little turns to get lined up and got all off, off camber. So we're gonna hopefully take it as wide as possible and make it through this without too many problems.
Okay, well, we just finished the dollhouse. That was incredible. It took us about five hours to get in, about three hours to come out, because you always know a trail a little better after you've done it once. So behind me is the dollhouse, in front of me, Poison Springs, and I'm standing at the intersection of Flint Trail, and we're getting ready to head north and go to Mays Overlook. So that's gonna be the next stop on our Mays District adventure. So be sure and check that out. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So stick with us as we continue on to the Mays Overlook. Well, I can't tell you how nice it is to be back on Flint Trail. Some nice, smooth, sandy double track, no major obstacles for a while anyway. This is really nice. We're able to get some speed up, make up some time, and have a nice, smooth ride. have just made it to the turn for Mays Overlook. So we got 12 miles to go to our next campsite and we're staying at Mays Overlook 2 tonight. I believe there's two of them and uh, someone must be in one, right? You got Golden Stairs, 61 miles to Highway 24, 17 miles to Hans Flat Ranger Station, and we are on Flint Trail. So we're gonna stop grab some snacks, get some drinks, and head over to May's Overlook. We're a little over a mile and a quarter into the trail, and so far it's been pretty nice. Trails Off-Road does rate this as a three. So hopefully we're not gonna run into any difficulty today like we did on the dollhouse. Now we're coming on to this long descent here, but it comes with an extra special bonus for some of you. It's on a shelf road. Now it's not a huge thousand foot drop off or anything, but if you get sketched out on shelf roads, yeah, be careful on this one because it is pretty narrow as we head down into the valley. Now, according to Trails Off Road, this is the worst part of the whole trail in terms of difficulty and it should be pretty smooth sailing once we get down off the cliff.
you're down. With the last of the obstacles behind us, we are entering into the National Park boundary, meaning we're at the nine mile mark, and we've got just under four miles left to go. But we do have to make a quick stop and let Katarina look over the edge of the cliff. Right. Now we've just been traveling along the trail nice and flat. We come over a tiny little ridge and we're at this campsite. And what an amazing view. You can see forever from here. This is absolutely mind blowing. Good morning from the Maze Overlook. This place is just insane. It is, this view goes on for hundreds of miles. It is one of the most epic campsites you can get. We got the Jeep and the tribe trailer right on the edge of the cliff here, looking out into this amazing valley. It's hard to beat a campsite like this. This is awesome. But our adventure is not over. We have one more campsite to go to tonight, and that's Panorama Point. And that will conclude our Maze District adventure. It has been awesome so far. Took some damage here and there, had some fun, really had an amazing experience. So don't, <laughs> don't tune out yet. We still have one more campsite to go to.